Red Bull starts the second half with Cyrus Baggio, Gabby Espinas, Jeff Chan, Carlos Sharma, and Paulo Hubaldi. There's Sharma. And a good opening quarter. The ball is picked up by Sunday Salvasor, who is joined by Willie Wilson, Ronald Tubid, Eric Meng, Kid Lightning, Paul Arpadi for the second half, for the first unit of Inembra in the second half. Salvasor is now one out of eight from uh, Rainbow Country. Here's Ubalde for three. Minute having gone by the third quarter. You mentioned, you know, a field goal shooting here. Uh, really bad for both teams, and it's continuing here in the opening uh, seconds of the third quarter. Whoa. Oh, hard fall there for Gabi Espinas. May have hit his head on the floor. Uh, very tough customer is Gabi Espinas, so he picks himself up. Second personal against Eric Meg. See the battle here. Espinas losing his balance as he was forced by Eric Meg. No, his head did not hit the hard hardwood floor. As he swing back to live action, here's Chad. Needs help. Finds Espinas. Oh! On blank range. Both teams really struggling to score the first basket with the first field goal. In the second half, and they scoop it with a three-pointer. That happened off a broken play. Uh, Ronald Tubid, Dia, seven points in a ball game. The address of the TM, ang inyong kakampi sa buhay. Red Bull goes inside, Sharma. Paulo Obalde will be tagged with a loose ball foul in second personal. Now you can see here Red Bull at the start of the second half. They really want to get a lot of post touches. They really want to pound the ball inside. You know, they, they knew that they saw the stats and they realized that they didn't uh, have uh, a single attempt from the free throw line. Considering that Red Bull is at the bottom of the standings, they should really be more aggressive in attacking the basket. Uh, that was an aggressive move from Artadi. He has eight points. So Red Bull still scoreless here in the third quarter. Once again, inside. Oh, but Espinas missing a lot of layups here. And Artadi! Letting loose in the open court. He's a double figures with 10. And if you coach again Giao, that would really test your patience. You see, miss a layup, and then you give in give him ever a transition basket, the smallest guy making a layup. Close to close, here he goes again. He has to be able to get it. He did not. Nine minutes to go in the third. Red Bull held scoreless here in the early moments of the third period. Back here, if you, well, you actually missed a couple of plays, but you did not miss any main conversions for Red Bull because they're still scoreless here in the third quarter. And their uh, field goal shooting percentage continuing to dip. Right now it's at 35 percent. There's a balde. That's how you break a dry spell. And they've been trying to get that layup. Espinas you know, is mi missing a few. And, uh, well, they should keep uh, doing that, though, attacking the basket, getting a uh, layup instead of jump shots. You can see the field goal shooting. Very bad for Red Bull, one of eight. New shot clock here for Hinebra. A 
on top by 14 points. Here's Salvasot for three. And Salvasot now one out of nine from Rainbow Country. And it really takes some time for a shooter to get that uh, the flow of uh, shooting the basketball. One of nine. If I may, if I'm I sorry, take, if I'm sorry, I take, if Richard, I take nine attempts Richard, from the three-point, I'm three sorry. Point <laughs> <laughs> if I take nine attempts from the three-point <laughs> region, I'll make two at least. At least. Yes. Uh, so that makes me a better shooter than Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Not even game man. Tobin sits down in favor of Junti Valenzuela, who actually had a uh, very good uh, stint, uh, short but productive. Oh yeah, six minutes, seven points, three rebounds, and an assist. Is Larry Rodriguez? Larry Rodriguez. He has four points in the ball game. And Larry Rodriguez, you know, the Nahorda was saying that. You know, it's been the new guys actually playing really well for Red Bull and then it's a challenge for the veterans to really step up their game. But Larry Rodriguez, you know, I'm going to the speed of the draft, I, I, I think so, because uh, the way he's been playing for Red Bull. Six and 41 remaining in the third period. 14 point lead for Hinebra. Regis is back on the floor to replace Eric Mink. Rodriguez to Hubaldi. Back to Rodriguez inside. That pass was intended for Cyrus Fagio. Here's Salvasot. La pass, Rivas. As you approach the halfway mark of the third quarter, here's Wilson. And it's going to be procession for Red Bull. Well, you know, in that play, Coach John Wichico really wanted Wilson to post up. I guess Rodriguez. Yes, I guess Rodriguez. And try to push his third foul. <laughs> Nothing working here for Red Bull. Halfway mark of the third period. And they've only scored four points so far in the third quarter. Escalera still has the ball. Blocked by Baggio. Somehow got the ball back. Here's Valenzuela. Blocked by Baggio again. That persistence pays off for Jordi Valenzuela. You know, he's not the type of player who would be bothered getting blocked. He would just uh, concentrate and follow the ball until he puts it inside the hoop. So Red Bull now showing signs of impatience in their offense. They really have to regroup before things get out of hand. Right now they're staying at a 16-point lead. Deficit, rather. You can see here, Juki Valenzuela. That's the second block of that play by Cyrus Baggio, but maintaining his composure as a veteran move coming from the hitman. Back to direction in a moment. 